As 2010 it. closes out with an anti-terror security review, how far have we come since the terror attacks of September 2001? The 9-11 Commission developed a list of over three dozen anti-terror recommendations, and today, more than five years after the final report, many of the 9-11 Commission recommendations are still not in place. Let's bring in James Thompson, who was one of the members of the Commission and former Republican governor of Illinois. Um, governor Thompson, what stands out to you in terms of the recommendations you made that have not been implemented, what troubles you the most? Well, a lot of apparatus has been put in place by the Congress and the administration. The new National Director of Intelligence, the Counterterrorism Center, uh, these bureaucracies have been created. Uh, but what is alarming is that the human beings within the bureaucracies can still make the kind of mistakes that Ned to 9-11. Uh, as we saw in the uh, flight of the plane from Amsterdam to Detroit, uh, that man, as the president has said, should have been on the no-fly list. We had enough information within the various agencies that was supposed to be put together in the National Counterterrorism Center to red flag this guy, and it wasn't. And it doesn't make any difference that there are 500,000 names on the list that they finally put him on. If you go to Google, there are billions of pieces of information you can ferret out. If you order something on Amazon, I suspect there are more than 500,000 items that you can buy. If they can do it, why can't we do it? Governor Thompson, one of the recommendations uh, your commission put forward was that we ought to have these uh, full body scans at uh, airports. But uh, so many politicians in both parties still complain about privacy issues. And as a result, the body scans haven't uh, essentially been put in place. Does that suggest to you that at least there is not uh, the will by the politicians to take this seriously? It suggests to me that Congress and the administration uh, both administrations and the press uh, are somehow spooked by these privacy freaks. Look, we recommended five years ago the procedures be put in place that would detect explosives concealed on the person. That was a very explicit recommendation of the 9-11 Commission. And nothing has been done in that regard except for full body scanners at some scattered airports in the United States. Now Nigeria and the Dutch are going to be ahead of us. Imagine that. The notion that this is invasive of privacy is crazy. They now have the technology so that the full body scanner shows only an outline of the body, like a child's drawing. No genitalia, no details of your body. All it's gonna show is what you might be carrying, carrying under your clothes. You can't store the images, so nobody's gonna sneak them out and put them on YouTube. Uh, the scanner doesn't know who's going through at the moment. The technology even uh, extinguishes the difference between a man and a woman. So the notion that these kind of advanced technology machines are somehow an invasion of privacy defies all common sense. So do you believe that politicians then who try to make that very argument that it does, def that it does impede upon privacy, that they are demagoguing the issue? Well, they are demagoguing the issue, or they're, or, they're, or they're afraid to stand up for what is effective law enforcement, and they're afraid to stand up to uh, the most adequate way of fighting terrorists who are trying to sneak explosive upon airplanes uh, and risk the lives of people who are passengers on those airplanes. If, if they can't identify anything associated with you, except something you may be concealing under your clothing, where's the loss of privacy? There is no loss of privacy. Former Illinois Governor James Thompson, Thompson also one of the uh, members of the 9-11 Commission. And uh, Governor Thompson, good of you to join us today. We appreciate it. Thank you.